Next speaker is Arthur McGill, who is a grade 10 student from the Great Mercy High School and is very involved in school activities. He's a part-time dramatic arts performer in various school plays and musicals, as well as with the school improv team. Arthur has taken on the initiative to lead a new group at the school called Wellness Warriors, encouraging mental health awareness and activities surrounding it. He's very passionate, he's very passionate about his school, and here's AJ McGill to talk about responsibility and leadership roles. evening and thank you for all being here and listening to all of us speak. Uh, I'd like to give a hand before I start to everybody else who has spoken and is putting forth the effort to get up here. Uh, congratulations to all of you. <laughs> so, greetings. Uh, my name is Arthur McGill. I am a great student from GHS and uh, I'll be talking to you about responsibility and leadership roles. More specifically, how I have taken on a responsibility and leadership role from a young age, starting out from public school to high school, and it's honestly an honor to be able to say that I have grown because of it and experienced so much more than I could ever possibly imagine uh, due to my experiences in it. A little bit about me before I go on to the rant is I'm the youngest of too many kids in my family. Um, because of this, there's a massive age gap between me and any of my other siblings. Uh, so I grew up fast. I grew up strong, and that level of maturity and responsibility was always set at a high standard that I never expected. So I put it against myself to match it. Uh, this created a false sense of maturity and uh, led me to some issues, but mostly all things positive and helped me more than I can even imagine and is only starting to click with me now. Um, through uh, public school, we had student government and various tasks that required a level of responsibility outside of class time. I'd go home. I'd sit down instead of watching TV or going on my phone, I'd go over homework, and then after that, see what needed to be done for tomorrow. Um, I was Minister of Spirit for our uh, Beach Grove student government, and at that point, I actually didn't officially become Prime Minister, but basically did all of the tasks. Uh, in high school, I'm taking on so many more projects than I could ever imagine and hope to be stronger due to it, um, it's just completely improved my life. I am part of improv and uh, helping out with robotics when I can, even though it just started. Um, but I am also leading the Wellness Warriors, as you heard, and that is the mental health awareness. And it's we finally got a grant for it, and we're going to execute that as soon as possible. And I'm extremely happy to be able to call myself the lead student in the role. Uh, this. Every single event in my life that has required me to be responsible, mature, and lead has impacted me greatly. Um, the maturity level in it is a little scary at times, but uh, it's helped me with decision making and basically helping others to understand situations, whether that be two people arguing and then you find a middle ground or taking the consideration from multiple groups and forming them together. Uh, it's impacted others as well. My friends, my family have all noticed that if there's an issue, you tend to choose me first just because I have that voice of reason and I'm not going to uh, have a bias on anything. I'm going to help you become what I want you to be and what you should have that level of uh, responsibility and leadership by uh, introducing a level of respect towards everybody, no matter who you are, no matter how you identify yourself, everybody needs to be treated as a person and with the same levels as anybody else. Nobody is better, nobody is worse. We are all people. Um, and due to this, it's affected my schoolwork and my uh, work life and uh, everybody has noticed it because I don't need 
to, uh, I don't need to be counted on or watched. I can be, I can be counted on, but I don't have to be watched. Uh, all in all, I'd like to thank everyone that has come out to see everybody perform speak, and uh, thank you for listening and giving your time. It is truly an